you're listening to the Visibly Fit Podcast. Hey, I'm your host, Wendy Pett, and every week I'll give you holistic, practical solutions for everyday issues related to nutrition, healing, functional fitness, and behavior modifications. As a naturopath, fitness expert, and wellness coach for over 20 years, my goal is to empower you to reach for greater health and to rise up to your next level of living in mind, body, and spirit. You were created with greatness in mind. It's time to own it. Are you with me? Then let's dive in. Hey there, and welcome to the Visibly Fit Podcast. I'm your host, Wendy Pett. How's it going today, everybody? Yes, this is uh, the end of the first month of 2023. Yes. The end of January, if you are listening to this live time. And uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to believe, right? Like the first month of the of this year, just gone, gone quick. <laughs> so I want to talk a little bit today about how's it going? How's your um, goals going? Are you staying true to those new year resolutions that maybe you made? Um, I want to talk a little bit about making a decision and then making the decision work. Now, this particular, um, I guess, statement was delivered to my husband. This is kind of a, a personal story. But when we were dating, we dated a long time, like five and a half years. Yes, a long courtship. And we will be, uh, we're on our 10th year of marriage now. But um, <laughs> someone said to him, because he was just kind of in this in-between, like, you know, he had been married before and just whatever, just lots of stuff. I won't go into all the details, but uh, his friend said, Todd, make a decision and then make the decision work. And so that has rung in my ears multiple times on so many things. And so I wanted to share it with you because I actually shared it with my, um, my clients recently on the coaching call. And it just, just kind of was, an unpacked conversation that was beautiful. Like it was really a great conversation because um, I think it rings true with everyone, right? Like we want to make this decision and maybe we're afraid to make the decision, um, but we have to make the decision work. And that's one of the things that we kind of stumble about. Like, how do we make the decision work no matter what the decision is? Well, first, let's give you the definition of what decision is, right? The first one is the act uh, or process of deciding. Okay, that's duh. We got that one. But I like this definition better. And it says firmness of character or action, determination. I love that because I believe that decisions and making that decision work is all about determination. And that's what makes a decision a decision is when we are determ determined to just keep pressing on and pressing in. And so I want to share a little funny story because I made the decision recently to bake sourdough bread. All right. Now for you bakers out there, that might not be a big deal to you, but I failed home economics. Okay. And I made an A in woodshop. All right. So that says a lot about me. And I've said that before in my podcast. So I'm typically not the, um, you know, the pioneer woman kind of gal, but I am wanting to get outside of my comfort zone and learn new things. And my husband has requested sourdough bread. Now I could go to the grocery store or to the market and get some sourdough bread, but it's got preservatives and different things that wouldn't be as great for him. Now, am I a big fan of eating lots of bread? Absolutely not. But sourdough bread does have some health benefits. So um, even at that, you know, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. But I will say that sourdough bread, due to the fermenting process, it does help unlock those B vitamins, which is uh, critical for, for all kinds of things, but especially even for energy. But uh, B12 is one of those things that is hard to get on a whole food plant-based lifestyle. And uh, sourdough bread, because of the fermentation process, allows for that B12 to be enabled. And so um, that's a good thing. But again, I'm not a big proponent of, of bread. I'm making this for my husband. Um, but the fermentation process does have some great benefits. I'm more of, you know, eating different uh, probiotics and prebiotics, such as sauerkraut and kimchi and that kind of stuff. But 
Um, this particular fermentation process of sourdough bread also has prebiotic and probiotic um, benefits, which is going to help your gut microbiome, right? It's going to feed the bacteria um, with what it needs to, to thrive. And so Again, I'm not saying eat bread. No, I'm not. Uh, but if you are going to have a slice of bread, I would say that sourdough would be a healthy option for you, unless uh, you are gluten intolerant, like if you have celiac disease or something like that, then absolutely no, stay away from it. But sourdough, of course, um, even has uh, some antioxidants, which is great. And it's on the lower glycemic um, index. So it's got a lower glycemic load than say white breads or something like that. And I'm using on my sourdough bread recipe, I'm using whole wheat flour. Um, and then, uh, well, I'll tell you the story on that. I started with whole wheat flour and it does have more fiber, which is great. And that's what, what I was getting at. But um, yeah, this whole sourdough bread making debacle, <laughs> I'm calling it a debacle because it has been, um, uh, yeah, it's been a process. I've, I've been frustrated. I've been excited, like, oh my gosh, it's going to happen. And then totally disappointed. And it's just been a roller coaster, right? Of, of this bread making situation. And if you make bread and it's really easy for you, yay, you, I'm super excited for you. Right. But this is my first go about it. And if you remember your first time, then have some compassion. All right. So, um, I did, I started with, you know, getting, you know, starting with the starter and I YouTubed all kinds of, um, you know, expert bakers. And I went to this particular blog and then this YouTube channel, and there's all these different information, like, and it's a, it's a lot of information. And like, I'm, I'm calculating almost like math equations, like, okay, now I'll take this from that. And I'm weighing things on my, on my, uh, my scale and grams and just whatever. Again, remember I failed home ec. <laughs> so this is, this is a, a new uh, challenge for me. And so I'm, I'm going through the process and I'm, I'm, I'm doing it all. I'm like, okay, this is good. I'm excited. And I go to make my bread and I'm like, ah, oh, it didn't rise what happened? So I finally reached out to Todd's daughter, actually, Angela, who is like, oh, it's just easy. You just do this, that, and this. And I'm like, mm, yeah, okay, easy. She's like, um, you know, she's amazing. Stay at home mom that does homeschool. And anyway, she learned too. And I'm sure she had uh, her hiccups in the beginning of her bread making, uh, sourdough bread making uh, journey too. But the point is, is now it's easy for her because she's been doing it so many times. And so finally I called her and I said, listen, I've got this basically unleavened bread. It was like a big cracker <laughs> when I finished. And I was so disappointed because, you know, you have to like go through the process of the flour and water and mixing it up and waiting for it to, you know, get to a certain point and kind of rise and get the bubbles and then feeding it. And then, you know, several days of this. And I felt like, man, this is like a, a chore. <laughs> this is one more thing on my list, but I was determined because I made this decision to make my husband some sourdough bread, not because he wouldn't have accepted something from the, the grocery store, or the market. Of course he would. But I wanted to give him the best. And so, uh, and I'm sometimes up for a good challenge too, but um, I wanted to just honor him and, and do this sourdough bread thing. So here, anyway, so here I am um, and I'm going through the whole process and it's like day, I don't know, six or seven after feeding the starter and, you know, just doing the whole thing. And I've got rubber bands uh, around the jars to see if, okay, it's, it's rising. Okay, now it's time. But on the first batch, I forgot to make um, the, the leaven. <laughs> so duh, that's why my bread did not uh, rise. It, it was unleavened bread. So it didn't taste bad. It just wasn't great, but at least I did it, right? So I went through the process, but then I ended up calling Angela and I'm like, all right, you know, you've been doing this. Um, give me the one, two, three quick punch. Like give me the, the cliff notes on this deal because I have been going through this person's blog and this person's YouTube. And it's just so much information. It was just overwhelming. And I really did want to do it on my own, but I was like, you know, I think I just need to go to someone who's, who's mastered it and, and be okay with it. So she walked me through a few things. And, and honestly, there was just a couple little, um, 
areas where I was like, oh, moments, I should say, where I was uh, falling short in, in uh, this bread making process. And so she just kind of walked me through it. And guess what? I did it again. And voila, we have bread. Like I was so excited. I'm like, I, I told Todd, I'm like, we have bread. It was like, so is, is a big deal around the house. I know I sound like a, a little kid right now, but that's how I felt. <laughs> I felt like, oh my gosh, I've accomplished something. And that's what happens when we are um, making a decision and we make that decision work with determination. Like I was determined to get this right. And I haven't fully mastered it yet, but we have bread. Like, like it, it came out the second time and it was all good. And um, Todd was happy and it was super cute, but I, I just was determined. I could have quit. I mean, there was several times I thought, I don't have time for this. And <laughs> this is just too much work, but I made the decision. I had bought the proofing baskets. I bought the, the cast iron skillet. I, you know, got all the things and I'm like, I'm not going to let this go to waste. I'm going to keep this going. Cause I already put all the effort in for the starter and, and feeding this thing. And so I'm going to continue to bake bread, whether, you know, the sourdough bread, bed, blah, 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 bread, say that five times fast sourdough bread for my husband or for my mother in love or whomever. And, um, and make this a thing again, I'm not a big bread eater, but it's nice to be able to make it, uh, for others that it's, it's kind of a, a show of appreciation or, or an act of love. So anyway, so I am doing that and I feel confident now, not, not overly confident, but more confident than before. And it's just kind of fun because I think about, um, how we are as human beings, right? Like when it comes to decision-making and, you know, there's, I think people have a hard time making decisions because number one, there's so many options these days, like available for everything. I don't care if it's from a type of clothing that you're shopping for to even, you know, making sourdough bread or um, a health and wellness program or whatever the case may be, an exercise program. There's so many choices and options available. It's like, ah, I don't even know what decision to make. So you end up not making one, right? Or I, I believe that People don't make decisions because they're afraid of making the quote unquote wrong decision or failing, right? And I don't think, you know, yes, are there wrong decisions to be made? Yeah, absolutely. But I, but if you are heading in, you know, you've got good motives, you're he heading in the right direction as far as wanting to do better, be better, become better, those kind of decisions, um, they're really not wrong. You might fail at it in the beginning, like I did with my <laughs> my sourdough bread being a big fat cracker. Um, actually, it was not a big fat cracker. I would have liked it to have been fat and uh, more leavened, but no, it was it was an unleavened bread. Um, but that's okay. We learn. We learn, right? But I had someone to go to that had mastered it, and that I could feel, you know, just comfortable saying, "Hey." I, I, don't, I don't even know what I did wrong here. Will you help me? And she was more than happy to help me. It was no big deal. And I share this with you because I have so many people that will come to me and say, you know what, I, Wendy, I have tried this, that, and this with my health and, and nothing's worked. Nothing's worked. Well, I'm not going to say that the programs you've attempted aren't, are, you know, are the problem. They might've been. But it might have been just that you weren't determined with your decision. And so that's one of the things that we do with Visibly Fit. We help you um, make that decision and make the decision work. We help you become determined in your next healthiest, best step, uh, self step. Because um, sometimes we can talk ourselves out of things or if we don't have um, that accountability around us, we can just kind of say, eh, you know what? It's too much work. I'm just going to kind of go back to my old ways. I'm going to go back to the grocery store and, and, and buy sourdough bread instead of doing um, the craft and, and mastering it and, and getting into a place where you feel confident. And that's what I want for you, for your, your health and your wellness program and your lifestyle. I want you to be confident. I want you to feel like, you know what? Yeah, there's a lot of options out there. There's a lot of things I can choose from, but I feel good going down this path. I feel healthy. I feel well. And, um, and, and the outside circumstances and people 
people and their opinions won't get you off track. Because again, there are so many options out there and you, you might stumble and you might, you know, fail if you want to call it failing uh, in the beginning, but guess what? You get back up and you get back on track and you, you keep doing, you keep having that determination and you will master what you desire to master. Okay. You just have to get outside the box and you have to have that accountability and have that one that has gone before you that can help lead you to connect all the, the dots, so to speak of, of all the information out there and to get you on path. And that's really what, again, what we do here at visibly fit, we get you on, on the right path with your, your nutrition, your exercise, your mindset, your spiritual walk, getting your emotions um, into a, a healthy place. Maybe you're kind of stuck with some emotional stuff. So those are the things that we work on in um, the Visibly Fit seven-week program. And so if you are interested at all, call me, text me. No, you can't text me because you don't have my number, but you can email me. <laughs> I could give you my phone number, but I'm not going to, but you can email me, email me at wendy at wendypet.com. And I will get back with you, me or my team. We will get back with you. Let's have a conversation. Let's see where you desire to be, what decisions you're maybe struggling with and how we can help you make your decision work and have that determination uh, and accountability to get you in your best health, healthiest, best self. Um, cause that's real important. Um, it is, we get this one life to live. Right. Um, and we sometimes have to get outside of our comfort zone. Actually, not sometimes a lot of times we do not grow unless we're doing new and different things. I mean, again, I, you know, making sourdough bread, I know that's a silly, uh, illustration, but it's, it's a current one in my life. And I, I think, wow, you know, that is getting outside of my comfort zone. It has made a, a royal mess. I mean, it's sticky, it's messy, flour, you know, there's flour everywhere. Like, it's just a mess. Um, but it starts to get easier and it starts to get better. And and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I feel confident. And I feel like I've, I've come almost to mastering this. And um, so getting outside of your comfort zone is important because you gain confidence and um, and it will keep you on track for your decision. Now, there's there's all kinds of ways to to expand your horizons, right? Like I'm, I'm actually going to take an art class at the end of the month. Um, it's a resin class. Now, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I'm not the most creative person in the world, but, but my creator is the most creative. And so I'm expecting an incredible download of creativity and I'm just going to have fun. I'm going to enjoy the process. And I think that's one of the things too, that we, um, um, get to do. We, we don't have to, but we get to choose to enjoy the process, whether it's a health and wellness program or an art class or making sourdough bread, we get to enjoy the process and have fun. Um, because otherwise it's going to be another layer of stress. And we know that stress is not healthy at all for us. So let's just have fun with life. We get one, um, but yet also be intentional, right? And be determined uh, in making our decisions work and not being afraid to fail or fall, but to get back on track if we get a little, um, you know, disheveled at times or, or just kind of fall away. But to come back to the one, whether it's me as your coach or somebody else as your coach, but come back to the one that is, um, has done it before you, right? Has gone before you. And you don't have to go to this blog and, and that YouTube channel and this and that and be overwhelmed with all the information. It's all in one place right here with Visibly Fit. And that's what I want to be for you is kind of a, with a lack of better terms, a one-stop shop, if you will, for your health and your well-being, because it really is confusing out there. And there's, there's so many different uh, trends and, and fads. And it's like, no, let's just stick to the program. Let's just stick to what works. Um, so I'm here to assist you. My team and I are here to assist you. And we would love to um, uh, just help you have that breakthrough and that aha moment of, of, 
you know, taking those steps and, and seeing that, that, that confidence come about as you make that decision work for your health. So if you are interested, go to getvisiblyfit.com. And that is our seven week course. Everything is um, laid out there. But if you have questions, again, email me at wendy at wendypet.com. And uh, I'll answer anything that you may have questions about. But I do, I sure hope that you enjoy listening to this podcast. Today's kind of a fun one. But I just want you to know that I'm, I'm human just like you, right? Like, <laughs> I, I um, don't have it all figured out. I, I wish I did, but I don't. We don't have it all figured out until the day that we die, right? And and even then, right? So I think it's 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 the uh, eternal eternity, uh, the 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 time and eternity. That's when we have it all figured out because with we are with the one that that has figured it all out, our Creator. So, but until then, we get to just have fun and not stress out about um, making a decision because again, we want to have that that determination to meet our goals. And so it might be for you. Maybe it's nothing to do with health and wellness. Maybe it's that you want to tighten up your finances, or maybe you are an entrepreneur and you want to really tighten up your business, or maybe it's a relationship situation and you just really, really um, want to make sure that you um, make a decision and and love that person well, and you're determined to um, turn the other cheek or, or whatever the case may be in that relationship, or maybe it has to do with... Um, Oh, I don't know, whatever it is in your, in your world, um, you, you just have to be, uh, cognizant and intentional and determined to make your decision work. So anyway, again, I hope this blessed you again. I hope I know it's a little different of a, of a podcast today, but it's kind of fun. And I would be interested to hear from you, what you are interested in in me sharing, like some of the experts that I bring on or some of the, um, uh, information about visibly fit, whether it's whole food plant-based or my visibly fit exercises where you use your body as your gym, um, or the mindset exercises that we do and the spiritual components, uh, that we bring in or the emotional tools that we use, whatever it is. Um, I'd be, I'd be more than happy to share some of that here on this podcast and break it down a little bit more, but I want to hear from you. So, um, you know, comment, comment on, on our YouTube channel, um, comment, uh, on social media, let me know what topics you are interested in, and I will bring those to you. I promise. I know I still have a few that are in the works. I'm looking for uh, a couple to come on board to share about EMFs because I don't know enough about them, but um, we want to talk about those because uh, I mentioned those not too long ago in a podcast. And uh, that's important, I think. A lot of people are concerned about electromagnetic frequencies and how and, how and what is that doing to our health. And so if you are someone that is, uh, you know, sitting there with your cell phone up to your ear all the time, please stop that. <laughs> uh, if you don't turn your phone into airplane mode at night and put your phone away from you uh, in the bedroom, then start doing that. There's a lot of different ways that we can uh, clean our EMF, uh, uh, just the the noise in our home, so to speak, that's um, that's messing with our our health and um, the way that our our bodies uh, biochemically are 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 um, operating in. So let's uh, uh, yeah, let me know what else you're interested in. But that was one that came up recently, and I'm looking for that expert to bring on. I have someone in mind that can help us through it and uh, kind of walk through it a little bit. But if you know someone too, let me know. And um, yeah, all right, I'm just rambling here, but thanks for tuning in to this episode of Visibly Fit. And uh, yeah, make it, a, make it a great day. And I look forward to seeing you on social media. That's where I dialogue most with my, um, with my fans, if you will. Yeah, are you a fan? Your friend, your friend. I say fans because that's what they say, right? Your fan page or this or that, but you're a friend. So that's where I dialogue with my friends. So thank you so much for tuning in and uh, we will catch you next time. But again, go to getvisiblyfit.com 
and uh, let's work together. All right, blessings. Take care. Well, that's a wrap for today's show. So thank you so much for tuning in. I love spending this time with you. To learn more and get more free resources, just head on over to wendypet.com. And thank you in advance for sharing this episode and this podcast, following and subscribing, not only to this podcast, but finding me on social media, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you are, I'm probably there too. Until next week in our next podcast time together, make it a visibly fit day. 